All right, guys, welcome back to some more PGA Tour 2K21, and today we are going to be checking out Colleen Castle Golf Club, uh, designed by Hawkeye 1991. I've played quite a few of his courses, brilliant designer, and the reason I wanted to play this course was because I'm actually playing it in real life today, which I am really, really looking forward to. It's in uh, County Mead in my home country of Ireland, and it actually hosted the 2011 Salheim Cup. So yeah, really looking forward to playing that today in real life, but we're gonna check it out here first on PGA Tour 2K21 anyway. So as always, we'll be leaving everything at default. So fairways are firm, greens are firm, and the green speed is medium fast, and we're playing in the morning. So let's just have a look at our tee options. There's only one, so we'll be swinging from the black tee, 7,703 yards, pin set number one. But yeah, really excited to check out uh, Colleen Castle Golf Club in real life. As I said, I'm going up with a few friends of mine later on today, so really excited to check the course out. As I said, a Salheim Cup course, I hosted the event in 2011. Yeah, let's check it out here on the game first and foremost, anyway. Let's drop Just gonna hit a little practice swing because I have not played the game in a couple of days. That was pretty good. And that was pretty good too. So we'll take that. That wind Always should bring us back to the middle of the fairway perfectly. A um, few things I wanted to talk about. Obviously, we've all right, we we've all seen here? the email right. from TGC Tours by now. I'm sure about uh, next season it'll be going to pro swing difficulty, which. It's a bit of a surprise for a lot of people, certainly it was for me anyway. Um, in some ways I can see where they're coming from, obviously. As a result of the swing changes, they've lost a lot of people, but uh, this one's going left. I, I personally think the scoring is going to be absolutely outrageous on pro That's swing right. difficulty. But uh, I'm, uh, I, I had said last oh, week after putting shot. up my uh, Tour Championship rounds that I would not be going back to TGC Tours unless uh, a 2k22 game out came out or something like that but uh i'm tempted to give it a go on pro just purely just to see uh see what the scoring would be so let me know in the comments guys if that's something you'd like to see again on the channel me playing through tgc tours um as i said i had said i would not do it but to be honest with you it's it's good content for the channel i think people seem to enjoy it so as i said um let me know down in the comment section if you'd like to see me play through tgc tours once again but uh yeah very interesting move to swing to to change to pro swing difficulty i mean oh dear perfect drive so our swing timing has been pretty good so far two perfects on the opening Hole and that was here right down the middle. Second shot on hole number two. Hybrid should be pretty good here. It's uphill a little bit, but it's quite eleven mile an hour wind behind us. Oh, that's a little bit of a slow. It's gonna come Hopefully up short, right? To the uh, fairway. The club was made for it, I think. Okay, Just didn't shot. hit it well enough. I'm going to try a little pitch and wedge chip actually here. Just try and bump it into this bank. It should turn to the left. Alright. Not the Here's best shot, right. but You're I don't think I would have got closer ready. with hitting a, a pitch or a splash from that distance. This putt's going. Oh, and somehow we've missed that. Alright, nice little two-foot putt. There was two breaks in it. And that's All a poor right, par, you'd have to say, considering how well the drive was, but it's a par par start. Staying at even par. But yeah, it'll be interesting playing this course now in real life. I haven't played it on the game first. There's a there's a few courses in Ireland I've played on PGA Tour 2K21 haven't already played them in real life, the likes of the K Club and uh, Druid's Glen, Druid's Heath, but this will be a rolls reversed. I'll be playing on the game for the first time. A little bit of a fast there, but that should be I good. But I'll yeah, really looking forward to traveling up to Clean Castle and playing and the course. About 120 yards out. Let's try and get this gap wedge in close. Strike was good once again. Wind has just taken it to the right a little bit more. Ooh, can we get a kick to the distance left? was perfect i'm surprised that went so far yeah, right actually work for you. i'm liking that i didn't think there was much turn okay, in that wind i thought it was more straight into our face 
And again, it's just the putt. I'm hitting too hard. I'm doing that a lot lately. I'm not sure it was going to break that much anyway, but good so far. certainly hit that one way too hard. So that's that three one. pars in a row. Two pars. The second and the third hole certainly should have been birdies, you'd have to say. But swinging well, so hopefully those birdies will eventually drop for us. That's Looks like perfect. Tee shots coming Should in for just stop landing. up short of the rough, which it does. We've got about a hundred. Once again, we're only flicking here. a wedge in. A tiny slow there, but hopefully that won't hurt us too much. Come on, kick left. We got a nice hop forward with the firm green. So once again, a good chance for birdie. Let's try and make this one third time lucky. Better pace that time, and it's right in the middle. <clears throat> so our third birdie put in a row, we finally get one. We did not have a birdie put on the first hole, of course. We came up short of the green. But yeah, I had heard, obviously, when, um, when I found out I was going to be playing the course in real life, I had heard there's quite a bit of water, so here's another hole with water on it. That should be good. A little bit of a fast there. It was very close to a red fast, but a good one. with that wind off the left, it's just fine now. Here on the fifth. So we're going to go back to a pitch in wedge here. Because with the firm conditions, this should take a big hop forward. Wind behind us as well. Again, it's, it's a slow, but it's one of them. You won't get much like closer this. to a perfect. I'm not that's sure I had nice enough club on, on that occasion because that slow this could not have been third. closer to a perfect. Not the this best chip the there part. either. So a missable putt, definitely. This putt's tracking. But thankfully, we do save the par. Putt, that's in there. So we stay one under through the open and five holes. Two par fives on the front line. Two par trees. All right, staying at one under after that one. We've got a par three here. Hope we can get it close. It's going to deal off this slightly with the firm greens. It should run out, but that wind is going to hold us up a little bit. A little bit of a slow once again, but this still Maybe should work. I think this will kick left. Oh, it just sat down very softly into Let's that up see. slope. So. With this Got no one. momentum this forward there at all. Way out. Not quite sure we've given Looking that enough break, have we? That was a good uh, effort, but by the hole, isn't it? just didn't give it enough. But and just another solid par, nice. and we have a par five to come. We did not birdie the first par five, of course, par on the co golf course. So under. let's try and make that up one. for that now. Yeah, you might need a little more power. We got a headwind on this hole. Again, you won't get much closer to a perfect there, so that should be ideal. Hopefully, we can reach this second in two. On the seventh. It's a longer th second shot than I thought. I'm not one to lay up, so. Or am I? <laughs> I'm just looking at that water down the left. I don't think, yeah, I think the bunker wouldn't be the worst place in the world. Don't see that every day. I Got the perfect. I could have took a more aggressive line, but be on your way. chickened out in the end. But yeah, and that bunker is not the worst place. Sand. Let's have a nice Should be able to get some here. spin on this and get it close, hopefully. A little bit fast. Actually flew a lot further. I didn't expect top. it to fly that far in that, out of that lie. But it's a really good putt and it just catches the left edge so we do birdie that par 5 to get the 2 under par. Played the bunker shot well, yeah, just carried a little bit further than I thought it was going to. And now we're teeing a it long up par 3. Hole. 237 yards, I can guarantee I'll be hitting driver into this today in real life if that's the length that this hole is playing. I doubt it will be though, I'm sure they have more tee options up there. I don't think we're playing off the back tees or anything like that, I certainly hope we're not. 
It's another good strike. Needs a good kick though. Oh. Well, you can't hit them all. Pretty good execution though, as I said, just with my three would have been a little bit shorter than most there. It was always going to be a struggle to reach. It's a red slow with the chip. My chipping has not been good in this round. This left to save your par. But we're going to save the par. All right, well done. And scorecard says, sticking right there at two under after that hole. All right, the ninth the hole. Low and right to left on this. It's downhill, so we should be able to comfortably get over this bunker. Oh, well, that was a fine swing. It's another fine peach swing. of a drive there. Take that all day. We are I must have a look at uh, Hawkeye 1991's um, portfolio if I can find it somewhere and see has he done any other Irish courses because obviously I like to cover them on the channel. I'm a pr proud Irishman so I like to, like to play through them. I think I've played through a couple of them on the channel. Obviously the K Club, I believe he's done that. Old Head, Golf Links in Cork as well. But maybe there's a couple others. Bit of a fast there. There's Druid's Glen actually. I have played that off video, but not on the channel. Maybe that's one of his as well. But that'll, that'll do. let's see if I can find his portfolio and have a look. See, is there any other courses I'd like to play? Oh, I'm not sure if I've hit that. Looking it's in if nice. I did hit it. It's not in. It had the pace, but okay, time I did not see that turn coming at the end. But tap in for us here. Not bad. So two under front nine, out in 34, could have been a little bit better. Our chipping and putting has been the problem, but other than that, swing timing has been very good. Up on a par four for this one. Take that all day, up the right side of the fairway. I'm having that. And Another very gettable pin about here. 155 yards out. Let's see if we can stick this one in close. Oh, another slow. And with that wind across, you're going to be heavily punished for that. Of the pin. Oh, I say heavily punished, but we've got a yeah, member's bounce work. there. That is a, that's a good little approach shot. But very much a member's bounce nice there when we make that's a birdie. There. So we get the tree on there through 10. But yeah, I spent most of the day yesterday watching the Solheim Cup. It was on, obviously, in uh, Ohio over in America and Europe, winning for only the second time. I have to say they played absolutely brilliantly the whole the whole three days. It was, it was a great watch, I have to say. And obviously, from an Irish standpoint, to watch Leona Maguire play the way she did, four and a half points out of a possible five in your first Solheim Cup. The first Irish woman to play in it as well. It was, it was unbelievable. So fair play to Team Europe. Very, Hopefully the, the Ryder sandy. Cup team Let's will uh, be able to do the business as well. It's going to be it's going to be very challenging for Europe to win the Ryder Cup this time around. Obviously home advantage for America again. But hopefully it'll be a good spectacle. That's all we want as fans. And yeah, this is this is a brilliant a shot. So oh, very nearly hold the bunker shot. And now we will. What an approach that was out of the bunker. A little bit of a draw. This would be nice to get for birdie. And the deserving birdie there. That was a cracking approach shot. Of the day. I'm liking but yeah, really looking forward to the Ryder Cup. But I have to say that's the first time I've ever and sat down properly and watched the Solheim Cup. Um, when it was on two years ago, Glen Eagles, I was actually working in the in the golf club that I'm a member of, and it was on the telly as I was working. So that, but I uh, I watched pretty much all of it over the three days last weekend, and um, I have to say it was really enjoyable. Some of the golf those women played was unbelievable. This one's looking okay off the It was a great watch, I have to say. As I said, hopefully Team Europe in the Ryder Cup can draw on some of that for inspiration. Just laying up on this part five because there's no way we can reach. Hopefully that wind just holds us up and we don't run out of fairway, which it does. We've measured that one pretty well. Third shot. Little sandwich pitch. Yeah, played it well. Wind just pushing it out to the right a little bit, but should spin. 
Pretty good. Didn't generate as much spin as I thought I was. For us. Looking pretty good. But that's another birdie. That's her fifth birdie today. Three birdies in a row on the back nine. So we have two par fives on the front and the back nine. And let's see what happens here on the 13th hole. I'm just going to shape this one around the trees a little bit. The wind will help us back to the fairway as well. Oh, it's a red fast. It's the first one. In fairness, our tempo has been pretty good this round. But that's the first poor swing. Now we just have to try and get to the front of the green. That's all we can do. Actually going to make it up onto the green, believe it or not. It's going to be a putt, but a challenging one. Do well to get two putts from here. Gonna have to play it up this slope. It will turn back to the right towards the end, but take two putts from here and run. Got the weight. This will start to turn back. What an effort that was. It's a really good putt. This one's a three. Really, really good lag putt there. So we saved the par. Our birdie run comes to an end, but we saved the par. Five holes to go. Five under par. After that hole. Okay, the wind's blowing on this one, right to left. You can follow me on Twitter as well, guys. As I said, I am playing this course in real life today, so I'm going to pop up a few pictures as well. So the link is down in the description. I will be doing that, putting up little clips and pictures from uh, different golf courses because obviously I am fully vaccinated now because a couple of years ago before COVID, I used to travel not regularly but you know regular enough you could say to play different courses it's good for your golf game because sometimes playing your own course the whole time it can, uh, swing. it can be bad for your game you need to get out there and play different places test your game so yeah i'll pop up a few okay, pictures on twitter on of the golf course later on this one's as i said that link away. is down in the description feel free to follow quite a bit of swing in this one Oh, it could be. Oh, it was yeah. a really good effort, and it just burnt the edge. If anything, it was just a little bit hard. A little bit softer, that might have turned back All in. Because right. the break was coming in the opposite direction towards the end. But the last of the par fives okay, to come now in the 15th. Downhill as well, quite a ways up. With a good drive here, we'll comfortably reach. Really nice swing. And that is a pretty good drive. Might have to shape it around this tree Setting in front of us that's guarding the green, but with the downhill nature and that wind behind me, I think I'll be able to go back far enough. I'm actually going to go back to the 8-iron. This might be a little bit too far back, but it should get a firm bounce. Strike was good. Expecting this to kick up. Did get the kick up. Yeah, that's a pretty good shot. All right, on the green Judge that one well. Put free eagle, eagle, and that's fantastic. Not and a whole lot in this. this. That'll be your eagle. Oh, oh it just oh, catches oh, the left yeah. edge. I didn't think that's it was going to turn. Nice. Just about catches the edge, so it's an eagle on 15. Seven we'll get under seven par under par. That hole. Good luck Look at this. Three hole. Plenty of water is right. I think I'm going to need plenty of golf balls today. This is a challenging one. Downhill a little bit. Play it up the left side, try and kick it in. Oh, I was just about to say I couldn't afford a slow and I've hit a big one. And that's going to be water. Grab a new ball and take it from me. Where's this dropping me now? 76 yards. Setting we'll up take the drop in the, in the heavy stuff. I'm going to have to hit the 90 yard one. Sit down. Oh, that flew a lot further than I thought it was going to. I mean, the lie was atrocious. So it's a little bit of a surprise. But it's going to be a scorecard wrecker, unfortunately. Yeah, 
it's going to be a double bogey. Well judged on that one. It's a pity because we played pretty well. Right, as I said, just up. threw a slow in there when you couldn't afford to. Even if I hit a little bit fast, I would have got away with it. But gonna put you up with the water under down the right was never going to be yeah, safe yeah, there hitting a slow. Up. We got a tailwind to deal with. Once again, hitting across water, but this time we're going to comfortably make it across. But I have to say, what a superb a looking course. Second shot here on the 17th. I was excited anyway to play this course in real life, but even more so now, having seen it in the game. It's going to be challenging, but it's going to be a lot of fun too. That's a red fast with the pitch. It's going to come up well short. Okay, well short. Safely. Here's a look for birdie. All the break here is pretty much at the hole, so this should swing hard. It's a really good effort. It's, really it's good. just gonna miss, is it? Oh, it's not. He catches yes. the edge. It drops. Fantastic putt. Well, let's rewind and watch that again. And see how this went down. A really good birdie there. To bounce back after the double. Okay, score is currently clocking in at 600. Uh, it's 453 yards uphill. Look at that. There's the castle in the background. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Hopefully this course will host some more big events in the future. I think they've had the Ladies Irish Open there, as I said earlier. The 2011 Solheim Cup was played there. A little bit of a fast there, but we found the fairway. That's the main thing. This shot is clocking in at 195 yards away. Mm, this is going to be borderline now, whether I can reach. I think I'm going to have to play up into this area because I think taking on the bunker with the uphill and there's a little bit of hurt. Can we hit this maybe? Obviously, you can see there when you put, add all that loft and spin, it really tins out your wide area there to get a perfect but I think we need to try and hit it no oh, it's a red slow it's a red slow to be honest I don't think I would have reached there with a four iron anyway so it's not too bad beautiful finishing hole though credit to Hawkeye 1991 for this as I said I've said it many times before I have no idea how people have the patience to design these courses. It wouldn't be for me. That has a chance, you know. Oh, it just checked up. This one's just three feet. But it's going to be a par to finish. A All six right, under round. Obviously, bar that double yet. bogey, Hopefully, which uh, was a real scorecard record on the par 3 16th. Um, really enjoyed it. Tempo was pretty good. Had a lot of fun. And uh, as I said, looking forward to checking it out in real life. I will have some pictures of the course. Excuse me, up on Twitter. And uh, excited. Uh, I certainly won't be shooting anything like six under. If I could go around in six over, maybe I'd be happy enough, but that'll be a challenge too. Playing off of eight, I'd have to shoot 38 points and stay able further. Eight over as a six over, as I said. But uh, yeah, we'll give it a good bash in here. But yeah, really enjoyed that, guys. I hope you did as well. If you did, you know what to do. Hit it with a big like. Would it be greatly appreciated. And if you haven't hit subscribe yet, I would also greatly appreciate you doing that. Let's try and get those subs building up once again. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you as always for your support. But uh, that's it for today. And until the next video, take care of yourselves. And I'll see you very soon. Peace.